Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Every fourth EV registered in Germany in February was a Tesla. Tesla shows off world's first real-world crash test system. Tesla Model Y recalled over rear seatbelt issue. And, Tesla's first V4 superchargers in Europe are being spotted. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Every fourth electric car registered in February in Germany was a Tesla. The company sold over 7,700 vehicles, up 30% from a year earlier. Tesla continues its strong sales record in Germany, made possible by production at Giga Berlin. In past years, local customers had to wait longer for their vehicles to be delivered because they were manufactured at Giga Shanghai in China. This was especially noticeable at the beginning of each year. The bulk of sales has come in the second and third months of each quarter, and sales in the first month of the year were very low. Now that the German factory is running, the situation has changed. Tesla sold 912% more cars in January 2023, compared to last year. Although the growth for February 2023 is not as impressive as in January, it shows a strong increase compared to last year. The Federal Motor Transport Authority KBA, announced recently that 206,210 new vehicles were registered in the German car market in February this year. Of these, 32,475 were electric vehicles, up 14.7% from February 2022, which was a positive sign. KBA data showed Tesla sold 7,711 vehicles, up 30% from the same period last year. It is an 82% increase from last month, when Tesla sold 4,241 vehicles. This also means that every fourth electric car registered in Germany was produced by Tesla. Moving to the next update, Tesla shows off world's first real-world crash test system. Tesla published a new video showing off the company's real-world crash test safety system, which it claims is a first of its kind. Tesla has long prided itself on its high safety standards, which they remain a leader in. And while electric vehicles have some inherent safety benefits, including a lower center of gravity and more room for crumple zones, Tesla also has worked to improve its testing systems as well. Now, Tesla's Japanese Twitter account has published a video giving a behind-the-scenes look at the Tesla crash safety system. The videos of the crash testing center were published to Tesla's Japanese Twitter account recently, showing off its successful results and unique approach to testing. As addressed in numerous previous Tesla announcements, Tesla's industry advantage comes from the fact that each of its vehicles currently on the road operates as its own crash testing vehicle. Whenever a Tesla gets into an accident, the vehicle can inform analysts about where the vehicle gets hit, how hard, how many people were in the vehicle, when the airbag was deployed, and much more. This data can then be used to dramatically improve vehicles for crashes that are actually happening in the real world. On top of this real-world testing, Tesla also showed off its testing facility, which, much like the NHTSA in the US, or Euro NCAP in Europe, allows the automaker to simulate crashes with real vehicles and analyze the results in more detail. Tesla has not revealed what changes they have made, thanks to the help of this system, but with such a rich dataset, there is no doubt, the opportunity for improvement is great. Outside of Tesla's own testing, it has found similar success. The I has recently granted the Tesla Model Y the highest safety rating possible, while the Tesla Model 3 received the second highest rating. As consumers and regulators alike look to continue to improve vehicle safety standards in the coming years, valuable data on where vehicles get hit and how will prove to become increasingly more useful to automakers. And while other automakers will likely create these systems in the coming years, it is great to know that Tesla has already introduced these amazing life-saving changes. Moving to the next update, Tesla Model Y recalled over rear seatbelt issue. The Tesla Model Y has been recalled due to rear seat and seatbelt issues. Tesla and its fans have been particularly vocal about the terminology recall, 
especially when vehicles are fixed remotely via software updates. However, Tesla is not immune to physical recalls. Earlier this week, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, recalled the Tesla Model Y due to issues relating to the rear seats and seat belts. According to the filing from the NHTSA, 3,470 vehicles, spanning model years 2022 and 2023, have loose bolts that secure the rear seats and rear seat belts, potentially leading to a hazardous situation if the vehicle were to get into a crash. The NHTSA states that letters will be sent to affected owners by April 25, each fixed at nearby Tesla service stations free of charge. The report specifies that those who believe they may be affected by the model wire call can contact either Tesla's customer service or the NHTSA helpline to have their questions answered. Due to the low number of vehicles and model range affected, it seems the issue was caught relatively quickly, though it remains unclear how many vehicles that have been produced but not yet sold have been involved as well. This recall follows shortly after Tesla issued a massive 362,000 vehicle recall regarding its full self-driving software that the NHTSA states was unsafely operating at specific types of intersections. Since then, the issue has been resolved via OTA update. However, it continues to stoke strong opinions from those who disagree with the NHTSA's terminology and those who believe that the Tesla FSD software is unsafe. As Tesla continues to rapidly improve its quality control and production standards, as outlined in the Investor Day event, these recalls will likely decrease in occurrence. Though with Tesla often labeled as having poor build quality by consumers, it remains unclear when the stigma surrounding its brand will dissipate. Moving to the last update, Tesla's first V4 superchargers in Europe are being spotted. Tesla's first V4 superchargers are being spotted in Europe just days after the company announced that initial installations have begun. Last summer, rumors of the first-ever V4 superchargers started to swirl as illustrations and specifications of what would appear to be the newest iteration of Tesla's charging piles surfaced. Rumors of increased size and even faster charging capabilities were the first things that were reported with the new system. Plans for the first installations of the V4 supercharger appeared in a project plan for a new site in Danvers, Massachusetts, but it was revealed that the United States would not get the first bites at the new design and functionality. On Wednesday, during Tesla Investor Day, the company said it was officially installing the first V4 superchargers in Europe, and now it seems we're getting a first look at what is to come. Initially spotted by Electrek, in a video from Electric Felix, it appears, the first V4 supercharger installations are taking place in Harderwijk, the Netherlands. The chargers will support a 1,000-volt architecture for increased charging speeds across multiple manufacturers, longer cables that will support other vehicle makes, and larger stalls to house all of the extra power. Electric Felix said in their video that the new superchargers are considerably larger than past ones. Tesla could be installing the first V4 superchargers in Europe due to the continent's experience with the non-Tesla EV charging pilot program, which the automaker launched a couple of years ago. Instead of attempting to test out other EVs compatibility with Tesla's supercharger network in the United States, the company first tested the program in Europe, where there would be less congestion. Although Tesla is now installing Magic Dock chargers in the United States that enable other EVs to charge, the rollout is extremely young, with the first installations occurring just last week. It seems logical, Tesla would try the new superchargers in Europe first. We're seeing that with Magic Dock equipped superchargers in the US, the biggest complaint thus far is the length of the cable, which is vehicles like the F-150 Lightning taking up multiple parking spots to enable charging. The V4 supercharger appears to have longer cables, according to the video. Details regarding the Harderwijk location specifically are not available, other than Tesla's indication on its website that it is expected to open sometime in Q2. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.